Welcome to Around the TV Tray <clears throat> with Sarethne. I am your host, pardon me uh, as I clear my throat. Um, this evening, I'm having my very uh, good friend of mine that I perform stand-up comedy uh, with um, at the NOG. Um, his name is Matt Elliott. Um, he's a really uh, funny comic that I, uh, I love seeing him perform. And um, every single week, I raise funds for my favorite comics um, in Daytona Beach, as well as the Tiernog Irish Pub um, in Daytona Beach. And uh, without further ado, I'll bring my guest, uh, Matt Elliott. Hey, Matt. How are you, pal? I am fantastic. How are you? Uh, doing well. I just noticed I um, entered the wrong broadcast, so that's why I had to go in and out real quick. But I'm glad you're here to join me. That's okay. I'm an in and out kind of guy. <laughs> the restaurant's pretty good, too. Uh, <laughs> I love the burgers. So. Indeed. So let's talk about your comedy career. Um, uh, you, uh, uh, you're in the um, improv group called uh, Troop or Random Acts of Insanity at the Cinematique Theater. How did you get involved with those guys? Um, I came down to Florida. I looked up, because I, that's what I want to do. As soon as I moved down here, I looked at the local comedy clubs. And uh, I looked up online, you know, Florida Daytona Improv Troop and called them and they let me audition. And, yeah. So it was awesome. awesome. Yeah. Sweet. I've seen you a couple times with them. And uh, Minas is like a good friend of ours that does stand up too. And so I got to interview him earlier and, and Sam Ivy. Hopefully I have her on in the future. That'd be pretty yeah. awesome. Love them both. They're, they're both amazingly hilarious people. I, I kind of hate being on stage with them because they're that funny. So. Indeed. Absolutely. You do, you hold your own too. And I love seeing you perform improv. So it's good stuff. Well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. And you've also performed on a couple stages at Bonkers. Um, what's it like performing in a, um, at, at a Bonkers comedy club? Uh, it, it was awesome. The first Bonkers I performed at is now a strip club. Um, <laughs> it's Grandview Live. It was it was an awesome backstage thing. I got to meet Pauly Shore. I got to meet Michael Winslow. But you know, it's just great. You know, it's it's great doing comedy for comedy audiences. You know, not when you're like thrown up on stage at a bar, where nobody knows the show's going on, and it's like, oh, surprise. These people want to talk while you're trying to have a conversation. So, yeah. Indeed. And you've also um, hosted at the Thank You Five and put on some shows there. Um, uh, what's it like uh, working for uh, working at Thank You Five and hosting shows there? You know, it's great to put together shows because I get to just hire my friends. So, I mean, it's really awesome. Unfortunately, Thank You Five is no more. Really? Uh, they, yeah, no. Yeah, they shut down. Uh, we did a benefit in May, and we were supposed to broadcast it. But uh, they shut down before we could. They had fundraisers and stuff. They're shut down right now. Their current location with the um, – if you want to donate to them, go to thankyou5.org and find out how. So that way they can get a new place, keep live entertainment alive in uh, in this area because they tell us we need more than just you know beautiful women in NASCAR. Well, more than just NASCAR. Well, we could use more beautiful women. Come on down. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Indeed, and you've also performed at Jackie Knight's on a, a couple of. I seen you on a couple flyers. Um, what was those experiences like? Oh, Jackie Knight's is a great comedy club. It's just, it's just fun. Uh, it's a very intimate setting, very small stage, so you know you're right there with the audience, and um, it's a good chance to, you know, to to kind of go off the cuff a little bit, you know, because you know when you're that close, you hear everything that people say. So That's you know, when, when somebody makes a comment, you know, you just have a really have a witty retort and uh, see I'm using fancy words yeah <laughs> indeed and I we performed a couple of times at the open mics at uh, the Tinnanog Irish pub in Daytona and um and uh, some shows as well and uh, what are some of your favorite memories from the nog favorite moments from the nog um oh god so many um <laughs> I was doing a show in Sam Sam Ivy uh, was was in the audience and I started doing you know just improv just 99 jokes and um, where you know somebody gives you an object and you make a dumb joke out of it and I came up with them like that so just right and Sam Ivy was just losing her shit she was like oh, oh, I hate you I hate you <laughs> you know just I miss the nog uh, no just great times you know seeing people do lines in the uh, in the bathroom or you know do whatever they do out back. Uh, no cops come, please. Uh, be cool, and you know, just uh, yeah, no man, just 
Nog is uh, home to a lot of Daytona comics. It's, it's their home stage. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's family there. So they, they'll yeah they'll call you a piece of crap and make everyone applaud for you. So indeed. <laughs> and what other venues in Florida and the U.S. have you performed at? I got a, a funny bone up in Pittsburgh a couple times. Um, you know, featured up there. Uh, the uh, improv up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I've been all um, the comedy. What is it? No, the funny farm in uh, Ohio. Different, just up and down the Cincinnati, Cleveland area, West Virginia. West Virginia bars are fun, by the way. If you ever get a chance to uh, go, because uh, you know the audience will laugh at one minute, and the next minute they all pull out their rifles. So it, it, it's a very on edge comedy. It's it's great, and you know I've been. Uh, Oh, just so many places. Dirty Dicks in um, in South Carolina. It's just different places everywhere. Awesome. And let's see here. Um, and usually, um, uh, I like to uh, go and and do our our interview all over again from like the last time to see if your inter- your answers have changed. So, um, so we'll were, go. We'll go. Uh, we, we we were outside that sea breeze outside of. Uh, Outside the Daytona Tap Room, where cars were passing by and people were getting drunk and loud, it was awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, those were the days for sure, and it's oh, still yeah. up there too. So, can you believe it's over five hundred interviews since that day? Oh uh, man, you're killing it, man! You're killing it, Sareth. You are you are <laughs> the number one supporter of uh, Daytona comedy. Oh, My, I mean, we got a lot of supporters, but man, you go above and beyond, man. We, you, you're you're definitely you know the godfather of the family. Oh, I feel honored. Uh, don't we're a shitty family so <laughs> my shitty family i for sure but exactly. I, I indeed so uh what inspired you to perform stand-up comedy uh well i did theater uh in high school and in college and then i just decided you know you know i loved watching stand-up comedy and i thought you know i'm a pretty funny guy so i uh, did improv and uh used to go in bars and uh my friend would play guitar and i just come up with songs like you know what i could just do stand-up write a couple jokes Go a couple uh, mics up in Pittsburgh, PA, you know, and then, you know, work on that. Indeed. And um, what was the feeling like when you first performed stand-up? Um, nerve-wracking because, um, you know, when, when you're up there, you, you want to get everything out all at once. You have like seven minutes of material, but they only give you five. So you're, I'm, I was talking fast. And, yeah, so, but, I mean, it was great because I got laughs. I had one old lady, I did a dirty bit, and one old lady at the end was like, you did very good. Thank you so much for being on stage. I'm like, all right, got a dirty granny. <laughs> Indeed. And, uh, you mentioned that you watched um, comedy specials and stand-up and stuff. And what are your favorite spe- uh, comedy specials and comedy record albums? Um, I love uh, Eddie Murphy Raw, of course. Uh, Dave Chappelle, loved all of his stuff. Chris Rock, Bigger and Blacker. Um, Robin Williams, all of his stuff is just golden. Um, used to watch a lot of uh, comic relief, so I got to see like Jim Carrey before he was really big and doing that, and uh, you know Sam Kinison, Pryor, you know uh, a lot of Dangerfield, Rodney Dangerfield, self-deprecating humor. So yeah, indeed. And uh, let's see here, um, a couple of those guys have been on TV. So what are your favorite sitcom sketch shows and comedy films? Uh, comedy films, uh, Blazing Saddles, I love. Uh, Dumb and Dumber, one of my f- favorite all time. Um, I like Rat Race just because it's stupid and silly uh, sitcoms. I like Big Bang Theory because it has a lot of smart humor. Frasier, same reason. Uh, I'll always be my favorite show will always be Alf because you know I'm a grown man and I like puppets. Um, sketch comedy shows, Kids in the Hall, Monty Python, you know all that weird, obscure, you know, just stuff. It's like off the wall and just out of the box. Indeed. And if you can um, go on tour with an internationally known, which comedians would you go on tour with? I would like to go on tour with Zach Bennett, a uh, local comic. Um, just because, you know, I get along with Zach. Zach's just a cool guy. I love his energy. Uh, I think me and him have, he's very high energy and loud. And I think we complement each other because I'm a different loud than he is. He's, he's more of an angry loud. I'm more of a theatrical loud. Or um, Sam Ivey is my, my comedy sister. I would love to go on tour with her. And um, I don't know. Uh, 
Dave Chappelle just some guaranteed money. Indeed. And uh, if you can get roasted by, roasted by five comedians, past and present, uh, which ones would you like to get roasted by? I would like to get roasted by Bob Saget because he's just a filthy, filthy person. Um, I would like to get roasted by um, Gilbert Gottfried. Um, I'd like to get roasted by Sam Kinison because just because he's loud and obnoxious. What am I about to three? Jeff Ross, because, you know, he was the king of roasts for a while. And uh, I think Emu Phillips, because I never liked him, so I could roast him back really hard. <laughs> and let's see here. Uh, where do you see your comedy career in the next five years? If I don't catch Corona, I have no idea. I'm just – right now, I'm just – there's there's not really a lot of comedy going on right now, so I can't really see in the next five months, let alone five years. But hopefully I'll be touring, doing more shows, uh, coming up with more material, and uh, just, you know, getting paid more. Indeed. And you mentioned that you've done um, improv and you've done theater and acting. And what other forms of comedy would you like to venture off into, like um, uh, like um, sketch or comedy writing or directing and et cetera? I'm sorry, would we repeat that question? Uh, what other forms of comedy would you like to venture off into, like uh, uh, sketch or comedy writing or directing, et cetera? I would, I would, like, to, I, I would like to do sketch comedy because I like doing uh, different characters. I like coming up. Uh, I like to create a process behind... Uh, behind scene work and behind storytelling and all that. I like, I like to create a process. Indeed. I could totally see you and Sam doing some sketches together because she's her comedy sister and she's been doing sketches and killing it lately. Oh, I know. She's awesome. Sam, if you're watching this, shut up. Okay. <laughs> we, we have a love hate relationship, me and Sam. We just yell at each other every time we see each other. And we to give her a back rub. All right. Indeed. And then um let's see here. Um what is uh what is your favorite joke a comedian has ever written? Favorite joke a comedian has ever written. It's probably a dumb joke. Uh I heard who was it? David Allen Greer, I think. Yeah. David Allen Greer, he said the dumbest joke in the world, and it's still my favorite joke to this day. It says, uh <laughs> why did the monkey fall out of the tree? <laughs> Cause he was dead. <laughs> That's, world, I don't care. That's pretty intense. <laughs> and let's see here. What experience would you like your audience to take with them after a set is over? I just want them to have a good time. I want them to be like, you know, I want them to laugh. I want them to wet themselves a little bit. And I just want them to have a good time. I mean, that's why we do this. We do this to entertain. You know, well, we do this for narcissism mainly, but secondary is entertainment. Indeed. And are there any final shout outs you'd like to give uh, the viewers out there? Um, yeah, uh, go to thankyou5.org, uh, donate some money to them, uh, local local community theater. They put on a lot of great shows, uh, music, uh, performances, all that kind of stuff. And uh, if my Venmo information is down at the bottom, pay me. I got 43 cents my Venmo account. Let's make it at least 86 cents, okay? Indeed. Uh, you heard the man. Donate to him and donate to Thank You 5 um, and the uh, Tiranag Irish Pub. Follow um, Matthew on, and on the we, socials. Yeah, donate to Minas, too, because, yeah, you interviewed him, too. Why not? Donate yep. to everybody, because, you know, you're all in work, right? Yep. Everyone's working right now, so no. Yeah, do what you can. Indeed. Do it for Daytona. So um, thank you again for joining me on um, Around the TV Tray with, uh, with Sarath Nay, Matt, and it means a lot to me and for us to reconnect again and do the interview all over again and all that good stuff. Yeah, I mean, no, it's awesome to see you, Sareth. We got to hang out sometime whenever people are allowed hanging out together. Uh, hit me up sometime. We'll do something, man. I miss you. I miss you too, dude. I love you too. All right. Peace, love, and pancakes, y'all. Peace, love, and pancakes. I'll see you soon uh, uh, at the Nog sometime. All right, brother. Awesome, brother.